Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm just going to make a quick one about one of my most favorite uh, basic widgets that there are. Um, and that's the expanded widget. Okay, so it's a really simple widget that I use all the time. Um, and just to illustrate its usefulness, I've got a column with just three containers. Um, and they have just three different colors, purple, pink, and green. And as you can see, I've hard-coded the height to be 200 pixels for each of these containers. Now, in a real-world situation, uh, in a real-world app, you want to avoid as much of this hard-coding uh, as possible. Um, because one of the issues that you'll face is you're going to want your app to perform not well just on this specific iPhone, uh, but on other iPhones with different screen sizes. Uh, as well as other Android devices that all have different screen sizes. So this is a very common issue and one of the ways uh, to counteract this, this is not the only way, but one of the one of my favorite simple ways to counteract this issue is to use an expanded widget. Okay, so all that is is just in this first container, if I get rid of this height and I wrap this container in an expanded widget, it's just going to expand the rest of the available space um, and just fill it up, right? So this is really helpful if if you do that for each of these. Oops, let's get this and copy and paste. If you have three of them, change this color, then it's going to space out evenly into thirds. So this is really helpful for structuring uh, the UI elements of your app like the visual components of it, right? You can even just think about, okay, I just want to split it into halves, right? And you can kind of structure it from there. Right, so I use this technique um, quite often. So let's say green. Um, and also one of the really useful properties that's uh, in the expanded widget is this flex property. Yep, so this flex property, everything, uh, if you don't specify, it'll default to one. Okay, so if I say this is two, then essentially this this middle one is twice as large as the other two widgets that have a flex factor of just one. Um, and you can go three, and you can continue going with those ones. So this is a really helpful uh, way to structure your app before you build it. So for example, um, like something like this, if you want to build uh, like a game, like a like a game that has like a chessboard. Uh, like this, you can kind of, before you build the app, just split it into different uh, expanded containers. So that's actually exactly what I did for, did for this one. It's just three expanded column, uh, containers, and the middle one has a, a flex factor of two, I believe. But yeah, just a really simple way to, uh, to deal with a different screen size issue. Uh, not the only way, but yeah, a very simple and helpful one regardless. Sweet, thanks.